Hey guys! In this video, I'll be showing you how I recreated Raven's look from the original Teen Titans series and Cartoon Network. So, if you want to know how I went from this to this, keep on watching! So before jumping into the makeup, I first apply my contact lenses. These are Princess Pinky Galaxy Violet lenses from Pinky Paradise. These guys are seriously my go-to for cosmetic lenses. They've got such a huge collection for cosplay, and you get free animal lens cases with each purchase. You get a nice eye enlargening effect with this pair, which I think suits Ravens pretty well. So now I gotta get my hair and bangs out of my face, and I got this really cute headband from Miniso for pretty much five bucks or less, and it came with these really cute kitty ears, so I couldn't help myself. All right, time for the first step. I'm firstly going to add a bit of primer to my face just to smooth out any lines or imperfections. Since I'm going to be wearing a fair bit of makeup to emulate Raven's skin tone, this stuff's also going to make it last a bit longer and prevent it from creasing. So now I'll be taking my foundation and shade adjuster. I'm using Australis's Shade Adjusting Drops, which comes with a convenient dropper, and use about 90% of this to 10% of my foundation, mixing these two tones together to create a super pale complexion. And I'm just gonna evenly apply that to my face. You don't have to get too perfect with this since we'll be fixing up any harsh edges or uneven patches later on, and if needed, I just mix more product together for about two to three layers of application. I also make sure not to miss any minor areas like the inner corners of my eyes and the edges of my nose. What's great about this base is that the pale tone pretty much functions as a concealer for any dark circles of blemishes too. Now using a beauty blender, I'm just gonna smooth everything out, soften any harsh lines, and make sure my makeup is evenly spread and looks natural. Well, as natural as I can look with grayish skin anyway. I decide to add another layer to this base and also apply it a fair amount to my neck. Raven's costume is a turtleneck, thank goodness, so we don't have to go too crazy with the neck application. About half of the way will do. I also made sure to apply some of this to my ear since they will be peeking out of the wig. And when you're done, it's time to set your makeup in place. I'm using Innisfree's No Sebum Mineral Powder. This stuff is great for mattifying your makeup and keeping your natural oils at bay, which is helpful for full-faced makeup looks like this one. For contouring, I decided to go with black eyeshadow, specifically this one from Essence, and we're gonna use this fluffy blending brush for application. And we're just gonna go in a three-shape motion on both sides of your face, defining your hairline, cheekbones, and jawline. So with this step, I recommend that you take your time. Since we're dealing with black pigment, it can be really easy to mess up and make your contours look patchy or like dirty smudges on your face. So I just take my time applying the eyeshadow bit by bit, smoothing out any harsh edges with my fingers. You also want to make sure your cheekbone shadows don't look too dark, since this tends to make you look older and we are cosplaying a teenager after all. Be sure to also blend the stuff onto your neck and around your hairline to make your face appear smaller. If you do happen to make any mistakes, just add a bit of your base makeup onto your beauty blender and you can pretty much airbrush any minor errors. I also used a large contouring brush to smooth out any harsh lines or edges as a final touch. And now you can see your face looks a bit more three-dimensional, but we've got one more area to contour. So I'm just taking my brush to the inner corners of my eye and down the length of my nose. Like your face contours, take your time with this step. I also make sure to contour the tip of my nose and use my beauty blender as an eraser from time to time because I tend to mess up a lot with this. And if I need to, I use a thinner, flatter eyeshadow brush to dab on some extra definition. At this point, you should kind of look like a human statue. Just like my base foundation, I make sure to apply eyeshadow primer to my lids before anything else. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion, which has always worked wonders in making my eye makeup stay in place. I also add a bit to my waterline since we'll be adding makeup there. Now we're going to be using one of my favorite makeup items for cosplay, and that is Coastal Scents 88 Original Palette, which, like its name says, comes with 88 beautifully vibrant colors. You can pretty much use this for any cosplay, so needless to say, I highly recommend it, and I've left a link in my description for anyone wanting to check it out themselves. And now we're going to take this fluffy eyeshadow brush and apply this dark brown color all over our lids. Again, I'm using my fingers to soften any harsh edges and blend it out. As you can see, I'm applying it in a sort of almond shape, starting from the inner corner of my lid and extending past the outer corner. This creates a nice smoky eye effect. 
Now I'm taking a thinner, more defined eyeshadow brush and I'm applying the exact same color around my waterline. This will make your eyes pop a bit more and achieves that darker gothic look we want for Raven. Now we're going to use this tapering eyeshadow brush and use a black color on about one third of the outer corner of our lids. Blend it into the dark brown color so that it creates a sort of gradient and this adds dimension to your eyeshadow so I make sure to extend it even further past the outer corners to give it that extra smoky look. But I also apply it in a slanted upwards direction for a cat eye effect. Just like the previous color, I also add the shadow to my waterline. Now let's fill in your eyebrows. Using a thin slanted eyeshadow brush, we're going to use that same black shadow to fill in our brows. Black may be a bit of a strong color for brows, but we'll want to capture that cartoon slash anime effect to make them stand out. So Raven's eyebrows don't take on any fancy shape or form, they pretty much have a typical curve, so I'm just outlining the natural shape of my brows and filling them in. Again, I use a beauty blender to soften any harsh edges or if I extend them too much or end up making them look too thick. Time for eyeliner! One of my cheap secret weapons when it comes to eye makeup is definitely Essence's Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This product holds up even when I get watery eyes and it only goes for like 5 bucks here in Australia. So I'm extending my eyeliner past the outer corner of my eye to create a winged cat eye effect and lining my waterline as well. Now to really make your eyes pop, I apply a pair of false eyelashes. I'll be using this one by the brand Kiss that offers that boost of volume while still looking pretty natural. And it even comes with a tiny tube of glue. So once I add glue to the lash, I usually wait about 30 seconds before applying it to my lid. And bam, you've got bigger eyes! So now I just do the same to the other side, cover the lash band up with eyeliner, and your eye makeup's done! One of Raven's defining features is the red gem on her forehead, and a friend of mine picked these up from the craft store. I'm just going to add a bit of eyelash glue to the back of this and attach it to the center of my forehead, like so. For Raven's lipstick, I'm using Arabian Night from L'Oreal. Now Raven doesn't actually seem to be wearing any lipstick in the series, but this adds a nice sultriness to her overall look and fits in with the rest of her makeup as well. On to Raven's wig. Since her hair is a deep purple color, I'll be using a black wig cap for this one. And with fairly short wigs, I want to make sure my cap is extra secure and holds all my hair in place, since there's a higher chance it may peek through. I got Raven's wig from the fantastic feline en masse and was supplied by the online store Cosmic Bites Cosplay Shop. When wearing her wig, you want to make sure her crow's peak is right at the center since this is one of her distinct features. And just before putting on the rest of her costume, you want to make sure your hands match your face's skin tone since they're going to be exposed. And here's me in her full costume! Just going to add her cape for the final touch, and now you're ready to fight crime! And that's how I recreated Raven's look from the original Teen Titans series. If you guys are curious on how I did the makeup for any of the other characters I've cosplayed, definitely let me know in the comments. Or if you're just curious on my other cosplays in general, be sure to catch me on my socials. That's Anna Isabel Cosplays at both Facebook and Instagram. And I just wanted to give a huge, huge shout out to my good friend and the amazing cosplayer, Nikomi Kasai. She actually cosplayed my Starfire back in 2017 when I first debuted this cosplay. And she's so sweet and so talented, she actually made this entire costume for me. You can find her cosplay commissions business at Feline En Masse on Facebook. Her service is top notch. So be sure to go give her some love on both Facebook and Instagram. If you found this video helpful, drop a like, I guess. Thanks for sticking with me through my first ever YouTube video, and I'll be sure to catch you guys soon with more cosplay and geek-related content. So, catch y'all later!